Up next, senior Kelsey Mayer interviews Lloyd Winnicky to learn the goals he has for his second term as mayor of Evansville. Hi, I'm Kelsey Mayer and I'm here today with the mayor of Evansville, Mr. Lloyd Winnicky. Thanks for meeting with me. My today. pleasure, Kelsey. So, um, recently in the fall, you were re-elected for a second term. With politics and opinions being as they sometimes are, why did you decide to pursue re-election? I decided to pursue re-election for a couple of reasons. One, we had great momentum. We'd started some really nice big projects. If you look at the convention hotel, uh, we're about to break ground on the, on the IU Medical School. Uh, Tropicana was about to announce at that time what they were going to do for the city of Evansville. So uh, I felt like there was un unfinished business. Uh, we have a very aggressive blight elimination program that we really want to launch in 2016. And I couldn't do that if I wasn't in the mayor's office. So that and the fact that I just, I feel like um, we had taken the city to a, a nice level in terms of its ability to have a civil dialogue about difficult issues, and I just felt the time was right to continue the work that we'd started out. Recently, the city of Evansville has applied for government funds um, to prevent population stagnation and economic development. Could you explain a little bit more about the Regional Cities Project that you are trying to pursue? So Regional Cities is an initiative that Governor Pence launched last year. And the whole idea is this, uh, state economic development leaders looked at cities all over Indiana and they said, wow, Indianapolis is really the only city or that region is the only region that is really growing on a regular basis. What can we do as state government to incent development in our regional areas to, in, to develop uh, growth? So they, de they, they developed the Regional Cities Initiative. So $84 million was initially set aside from a tax amnesty program. And so seven regions in Indiana competed for that $84 million with the understanding that there would be two $42 million recipients. So we competed with seven, seven regions. Uh, at the end of the day, the state decided, wow, these are probably better than what we expected, so they wanted to award three regional cities instead of two. So at the end of the day, uh, they had to go back to the legislature and seek another $42 million in funding. So in this last legislative session that just ended, the legislators did approve another $42 million. So we will, in fact, receive $42 million. There are 19 projects that will be funded with, a, with that $42 million. Some are in the city of Evansville, some are in Warwick County, uh, one in Gibson, and a couple in Posey County. But again, these are projects that we think will help improve the quality of life, the quality of place, if you will, and make the region more attractive to young people. So we're very excited about that. Uh, these are projects that we think that can be completed within roughly a five-year time frame, and that's what we've committed to the state to do. So we'll, we'll actually leverage hundreds of millions of dollars in private sector and other public investment to get that $42 million. Okay, and could you elaborate on some of the actual projects? Sure, some of the projects are, are really, really cool. Uh, one, we're going to improve Evansville Regional Airport's terminal. We all call it the new terminal, but in fact uh, it's 25 years old or so now, and it needs to be uh, remodeled. It needs to be brought up to current security standards. TSA has asked uh, that 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 be a priority, so that will be a project. Uh, one of the one of the really cool things about regional cities is that we're going to fund a research component to the medical school. So, in addition to really great medical education being performed on the campus, just behind where we are today in the Ford Center, there will also be medical research. So you might recall that the medical school was all designed to build a new pipeline of healthcare professionals, doctors, nurses, healthcare technicians, etc. So now, in addition to that, we'll be able to do really cutting edge medical research. Uh, the old National Wealth Management Group and the Bronstein Family Trust fairly recently announced a $2 million gift to an, endow a chair of gerontology. So that is really setting that up to be a, a big project. Uh, Veteran and Hire. Hire is the world's largest manufacturer of, of appliances. They have their first North American Research and Development Center in Evansville. So they will partner on a new living unit, not living unit, but sort of a housing development in downtown. They'll put Hire's small urban appliances in those apartments and they'll have real-time connectivity with Vectron so they can constantly tweak the design of their appliances 
and make them more energy efficient. So really cutting edge technology right here in the heart of the city. Uh, there's uh, money designated for the YMCA in downtown Evansville. A real transformational plan is projected there to uh, really make that bigger and better. It serves 10,000 members and uh, is a really integral part of our downtown. Uh, then if you look at what's, uh, what's proposed in Warwick County, they want to expand the wellness trail area and build that out, build the infrastructure there, so that's more desirable for uh, medical commerce. Um, they want to do some change, make some changes of Victoria National. Again, an opportunity to make it more attractive to bring groups, events, people into the region. Uh, in Gibson County, Oakland City University wants to build a really dynamic housing development in the downtown. So really cutting edge stuff. Uh, again, all designed to make the region grow and be more attractive, especially for millennials. What are some other projects that you hope to accomplish? Well, uh, Tropicana uh, is the first casino in the state of Indiana to take, care, take advantage of legislation that will allow it to move from water, the Ohio River in this case, mm -hmm. to land. Uh, recently, the Indiana Gaming Commission gave its approval for them to invest $50 million and build a 75,000 square foot facility on land in downtown. So think about this. At one time, we'll have the convention hotel, the medical school, and Tropicana's new casino under construction at the same time. Wow. Yeah, that represents a lot of money, a lot of jobs uh, in our economy, so that, that's, that's all uh, really good. Uh, other projects, I think if you look at what we want to do with blight, we've identified 1,800 blighted residential properties in our city. 1,800. Blight is, you know, probably what you imagine, dilapidated housing, just really run down. So what we want to do is invest uh, money and create what's called the Evansville Land Bank, where we'll go out and actually acquire as many of these properties as we can in a year, mm -hmm. tear down the houses, and then literally just hold on to them, put them in a land bank until we identify the correct or the most appropriate for-profit or not-for-profit developer to come in and rebuild on those sites. So that could be a habitat, it could be a for-profit developer who wants to do an entire block, but the idea is to uh, rid our city with, uh, of as much blighted property as possible, re start to rebuild our neighborhoods while, mm -hmm. while creating affordable housing and creating a safer city. Thank you for meeting with me today. My pleasure, thank you. <laughs> Reporting from the Ford Center in downtown Evansville for Bossy's EVSC Community Link, I'm Kelsey Mayer.